Today we've got Sean Foster from Foster SC Mods to help develop the wine mod kit on our 2024 Dark Horse with the Whipple Stage 2 Supercharger Kit. We're going to make it wine. Yep. What's up Team Lethal fans, Mustang King in the house and today we've got Sean Foster from Foster SC Mods to help develop the wine mod kit on our 2024 Dark Horse with the Whipple Stage 2 Supercharger Kit. Sean, good to finally meet you and have you here man. This guy's like famous in our industry. Famous, yes. So, what's he do? He makes a wine mod kit for most top mount supercharger setups, whether it be a, a stock supercharged GT500 or an aftermarket top mount supercharger, he has a wine mod kit that give you guys that wee sound that you guys want to hear. <laughs> right? Like it. Yeah, that's it. Can we get a wee wee? <laughs> nice. It, yeah. yep. I, like it was quiet before, at least from in cab, like uh, you can hear it from outside. Yeah. And then we installed the uh, open air box kit from Whipple on there, which you definitely yeah. hear it more. A little more. But in cab, it's not really that loud. So yeah. we're going to change that today, guys. Yeah. So typically, you know, any hood vents that are open if you remove the uh, the uh, insulation here in the hood things like that kind of increase the exterior wine obviously open boxes increase exterior wine up in the boost yep. increases exterior wine but to bring it inside is pretty hard for one you got loud exhaust uh, you got insulation in these cars yep. that's really quiet so they make them ride quiet and you want to hear it inside you know most a lot of guys want to hear it. they want to hear it outside but yep. what i do is inside so we're going to make it wine yep yeah. and he's been doing this for a long time yeah. we've been selling uh sean stuff for many years now uh great product there's a lot of guys out there and that's why we're doing this here today because people have been asking for it so we're bringing it to you yes let's get rolling with the install so sean for like the amateur installer guy doing this for the first time, typically how long does it take to install a kit like this on a car, like a average time? Yeah, so all of these kits are made DIY for the home uh, project. It comes with everything needed, drill bits, uh, uh, instructions, detailed instructions. Uh, you know, and it depends on the person. So yeah. basically they got to drill two holes and connect my parts, following the manual, and uh, it could run a half hour, it could run an hour and a half, depending on maybe what's in the way. Yep. Uh, they might have a different fuel system that's sitting here that has things in the way. Yep. Um, and then the skill level, and, you know. So like confidence. two and a half hours for a guy like myself. Uh, Something like that. Uh, I'd, I'd say an hour. <laughs> okay, got I'd it. Well, you've seen me do a couple installs. I struggle with it, so I would say yeah. I'm, I'm probably on the the longer side of things on yeah. the install, but right. it's not that bad. I mean, like I said, basically you drill two holes. Yep. And uh, you connect the parts, you know, you need nothing but a drill to install this kit, so, so it should get right in, I hope. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Whatever we gotta do, we'll do it, man. All right, here we go. There we go. This will make it a lot easier. I hope. Here we go. Maybe on the bottom here, and then use a 90. Yeah, and somewhere. I'm thinking maybe like run this hose like underneath. Under this. You have room right underneath here to yeah. run it? Oh yeah. And it might give you access to do that 90 to keep it, you know. Keep it incognito. Yeah. The only concern I have here, I thought this was rigid and hard. Mm hmm So the only problem we have with that is the flex when it comes to the 90, especially a 90, mm -hmm. does it start pulling on it? Well, use your professional, I think yeah. per, my personal thing, I think underneath would obviously look better. You yeah, know? I, I like, so I always encourage anyone, because sometimes guys want to do it different, and uh, I like I like to see it underneath just for that. But the other thing is, is ease of installation is another thing to consider. So. Nice. It's time to do some damage. Let's do it. <laughs> Get the drill out. Envision right. this. So there. And then this is going to be here. It's basically like a stethoscope. It you is. know, that you put it closer to that supercharger and you're listening to it. Your headphones are basically right. in the car. It works off the same principle as this stethoscope. Got it. It uh, channels the vibration, the resonance from the uh, supercharger. 
yeah. through the tube and then it hits a diaphragm just like a stethoscope has a diaphragm on it. Uh -huh. that's, that's a hard plastic piece on the end. This has a clear mem membrane on it and it does the same thing. So you get to hear what's happening right here yep. inside. This is definitely very audible on the outside of the car. Just it not is, so much huh? on the inside. So right here, there's a spot. Right here. Right here. No drama. This is your special stash of lube? Yeah, this, John? this stuff, stuff right here is uh, all purpose. That's going to be pretty. That's good. Excellent. I know what we started with. We started with 42. Yep, that's good. That's what I thought. Obviously, this is going to take longer than uh, a normal install, probably just because I'm figuring it out mm -hmm. and uh, making it right. But we won't uh, hold it against you. No. Okay. <laughs> No, just but you know, keep in mind for you know the guy that's uh, when it's done, he'll be like, okay, I gotta pop this off. I drill here, yeah. marked. Uh, I got this is the first one. This is the first one, guys. Yeah, so it's first. gonna take a little longer once you get it down, and you know it's like yeah. anything. Everything's easier yeah. when you're not developing it for the first time. The second time around, yep. or the third time around. Have you been in a 24 yet? Have you driven one yet? So I've sanded it. I haven't driven it, but I've sanded. So we gotta cut this. You know, you see any uh, hidden Easter eggs under there from Ford? <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good, man. I can go there. Tuck that out of the way. Right there. <laughs> All right. These have like a dual layer on the uh, firewall. There's two pieces of sheet metal, about 16 gauge. So you can cut through both of them in one shot. I like to use uh, any type of window cleaner to uh, flood the bit and keep it cool as you're cutting. It also helps to uh, keep the metal shavings all together and keep them from scattering all over. It makes a cleaner cut. <sighs> Then on the other side, there's a little bit of insulation, a sheet of insulation. You can just cut right through with the bit as well. And then it's time to put the grommet in and feed it through. Hey, Jerry. Yo, yo. Want to go fishing? Fishing? Yeah. Yeah, you want me to grab it from the other side? Yeah, so I'm going to push this up through there and you grab it. Yeah, that's sure. how we're going to pull it in through the hole. I got it. Pull it up. All right, right there is good. All we need to do now is feed it down in there. <laughs> okay, we're good. Good? Maybe just an inch. Maybe not. I'm thinking we're going to go with 42 inches on this, just like it is. So we got to make sure we use a lot of lube and uh, get it seated all the way, just like that. And it blends right in with all the other hoses, so you can't even yep. tell which is which is which. Oops. Yep. Throttle body's open. You're in medium to heavy load. I hear something trying to cry. Yeah. Yeah, she says she's there. Sounds like she's weeping. Well, 
it projects. It almost sounds like it's coming through the speakers, you yeah. know? It's amazing. Inside the car, it's loud. Yeah, not with yeah. this exhaust. And like I say, they, they just make these caps so quiet now. Yeah. And what's happening up there is not coming in here. Yep. And then you got exhaust happening from here back that's just drowning everything out. What a great so idea, man, that you did. That's an awesome idea. Yeah. There it is, guys. Just wrapped up the Foster Wine Mod on our 24 Dark Horse with the Whipple Stage 2 setup. Thank you so much, Sean, for coming down. Very welcome. And doing the install for us. As you guys can see, it wasn't a difficult install at all. And I'm sure if you've done them before, the next time you do it, it'll be a lot quicker. You can see huge results as well. We noticed it right away, guys, from the in-car video. You can definitely hear that supercharger whine now. Before, you could really only hear it outside the car. And now it's definitely noticeable inside the car. Great product. Thank you for coming. And these will be available soon at lethalperformance.com. Definitely make sure to check it out. We carry all of Sean's Foster Wine Mod kits on our site. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us at 561-753-8105. I'm the Mustang King, and that's Sean Foster, the Wine Mod Master, and we're out of here. Woo! Woo! <laughs>